Clean tech and green building collide in the Silicon Valley. Welcome to Future 360, I'm Sarah Backhouse. This is the gateway to America's innovation capital, Silicon Valley. The area made famous for the tech revolution of the 90s is now powering a clean tech one. Today, we'll be focusing on green building technologies. Our guide is John Picard, a pioneer who's greened everything from Gap to the White House. I'm John Picard, clean tech evangelist. Today, we're gonna see a series of clean tech companies, which I think will supercharge the green building movement. Dynamic living glass, LED lights, thermostats to replace analog thermostats, all these things will be talking on a digital platform. First stop, Lunera an LED lighting company that provides an elegant alternative to fluorescence. Hi, I'm Tom Quinn. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Lunera Lighting. We happen to have a very unique piece of technology, and that is the light fixture. And the way that we think about this is we are transitioning a very stable, large industry from an analog base to a digital base. So really what we're doing at 50,000 feet is we're creating digital light. Once you have anything in a digital environment, the ability to add value to that uh, kind of goes off the charts. Lunera's LED lights not only reduce energy costs and HVAC loads, they improve the quality of light by creating digital daylight. The lighting market on a global basis is $100 billion per year. Uh, it's a penetrated by about 2% LED technology today, but the forecast is for it to go to 50% by 2015 and 90% by 2020. We like that. We think that when there's big change, that's when small companies have their opportunity to really, to really thrive. Next up, dynamic glass company, Solodyme. Hi, my name is Rao Mulpuri. I'm the chief executive officer of Solodyme. This is dynamic glass made at Solodyme. It can change from clear to tinted on demand. Here it's shown in three different states, in clear, fully tinted, and in intermediate state. The ability to control the condition of glass saves money, increases energy efficiency, and worker productivity. From an R&D point of view and developing this product, the key building blocks that are needed and the talent that's needed is clearly uh, right here uh, in the valley. But in addition to that, there's a mindset uh, that everybody in the valley wakes up every day uh, believing that they will change the world. And I think it's those two things that put together make this a very powerful place to build a company like this. Next stop on our Silicon Valley tour, Cypress Enviro Systems, which makes old analog buildings digital. Hi, my name is David Roberts. I'm the Director of Marketing at Cypress Enviro Systems. Our technologies consist of everything from HVAC controls, uh, intelligent thermostats that are networked, to a wireless gauge reader that can retrofit existing gauges in a refinery or a nuclear plant. The technologies can be fitted in as little as 15 minutes and offers a payback of 18 months. With Cypress Enviro Systems, having such a fast payback and saving energy, you do the right thing for the environment and you do the right thing for your bottom line. Our final stop, Enlighted Inc, whose game-changing technology may see the light switch disappear altogether. Hi, I'm Tanuj Mohan, CTO and co-founder of Enlighted Inc. So we are bringing lighting control and a sensor network to buildings. The system is the simplest system on the market today with the most advanced feature set available. Enlighted adds a brain to every fixture. With the brain we have sensors so every fixture now makes a local independent energy efficient decision. Enlighted can save 65 to 75 percent of lighting costs and with its low-tech installation process is a source of green jobs. So we are expecting to have an Enlighted America pretty soon. We want the Enlighted system to be in every building so we make buildings smart. We're going from iPads to iBuildings and I don't think anything will outweigh digital efficiency. So all the mathematically expressed engineering that we've built the world on is now gonna be rendered in a much higher digital fashion. This is the clean tech to green build era of, of the Silicon Valley. I think it started about two years ago. I think it's gonna go another 10, maybe 15 years. From lighting to windows, digital controls to sensors, the speed and breadth of innovation in the valley is mind-boggling. And as San Jose's lead silver terminal represents, clean tech and green building are colliding to amazing effect.